pay attention. Today I'm going to go over how we make a counter. So from this example done in CodePen, notice it has some text that's displayed, and each time I click the screen, that number increases by one. So um, I'm going to share with you this code that you're welcome to copy and or use if you're attempting the uh, challenge to get four out of four for this assignment, doubling the shapes each time. I'm giving you part of it. This just adds by one. Doubling is up to you. That's your um, challenge to have. So, um, but to go over this, I'm going to try to recreate this similar program in Game Lab. Maybe you want to do your assignment in Game Lab. It's still very viable. And uh, for future resources, I want to make sure I have like two versions that of the code that do the same thing. So notice in this one, we got to get some text to display. And in Game Lab, the text is under drawing, I believe. Yes, text. <clears throat> so let's make that the go there. Counter is counting, blah, 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 blah. And then whatever, can I get with it? Shrink my screen. Nope. Shrink, shrink. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. So currently, it's going to display in the upper corner slightly below. It's kind of small, so I'm going to increase the text size. Notice if I have it afterwards, that doesn't really help. I have to have text size go before. So now it should be larger, not large enough. Let's make it 80. Too large, uh, 50. Still too big, 40. Dang it. All right. 30 it is. Counter is counting. Maybe I'll lower it um, down the, to the center of the screen. I change the second point. Counter is counting. Sweet. And then we're going to need a variable. So we drag this to the top. This is going to be my counter underscore value. It's going to start initially at 0. And let's see if I can get this thing to display. So in game lab, since I'm working with drawing, I think. Let's see what happens. So let me just type this in. <clears throat> so this line of code, notice that's a string. I wonder if this will work. Plus counter underscore value. I don't know if it has the corresponding blocks for this. But this is kind of weird. So the plus operator, um, it combines things together. It doesn't, it doesn't always just add what's on the left with on, what's on the right. In this case, because you have a bunch of words on the left-hand side, notice the quotations. This is a number. So it's going to display it together as a bunch of words instead of taking the uh, numeric value of counter. So if I reset and run, notice I have the zero at the very end. Now if I switch back to blocks, notice it uses the plus operator from math, but it's interpreted in two ways. It doesn't find you the sum, instead it puts things together. So that's kind of useful if you want to display certain words and put words together based on a variable, um, use the plus operator. So counter is counting, counter value, great, it's at zero. And let's see if I can do something funny and change counter value every time the draw loop is being run. So counter value equals itself plus one. And I think we'll get something weird, counter value. And this behavior might be different in CodePen. Reset and run. Ah, it is undefined, yes. So game lab catches it early. Code pen will let it run until it crashes, I think. Um, I, I, I should probably figure out that and not have you do it because that would be bad for your pen. Uh, you may not be able to access that pen again if you occur, if you get to this point, or it runs really slowly, which I think some of you are already seeing. So Game Lab is kind, it's beginner friendly, it catches that. Oops, we can't figure out what counter value is. Perhaps you want to use the string, oh, I typed something in wrong. Notice um, in my uh, counter value, the first one spelled with a U, and then I accidentally clicked Y. Um, so it tells you what was wrong. And now it keeps going undefined. I should probably reset this. It's still undefined because it keeps going on forever. So this is the value we don't always want to add on every single time the thing's being drawn. It gets to a value that's way too big. That's the part we're going to try to control. We're going to put that in a very specific if statement to increase it each time we're going to increase it each time the mouse is clicked. So i got to dig around and world. There should be a mouse uh, pressed. <clears throat> Game Lab calls it something different. I think the one we want is mouse went down. Mouse, mouse pressed. No, mouse pressed over. Yes, mouse down. No, yes. I don't have any buttons. 
And so right now, um, it says it's undefined. Notice inside the if statement right now, one of my mistakes is I have var counter value equals, right? By having var here, and also notice inside the if statement, like line six right here, I'm redeclaring <coughs> counter value. That's going to be um, a mistake because you're creating a second copy of the same variable. It's going to overwrite what came before it. And in this case, when you make a new counter value, it replaces what came up before it. So that's why it tells me undefined. Although I started at it zero and it should be adding one, it creates a new copy that has no value. I didn't initialize it. And then tries to add something to it. So that's why we see this word. Instead, we should be using this block. Notice it just chops off the word var. We've already declared it. The computer knows it exists. And we just want to update its value. And this is what updating looks like. Very similar to what I had before, but the var keyword is not there. So I'll drag that out. Now we should see something. And each, oops, each time I click the screen, um, maybe I'll zoom in, reset, and run. Each time I click the screen, the text is changing. Notice it's getting bigger, and eventually it becomes triple digits, maybe. Yeah, triple digits. But every single time, the text is being drawn on top of one another, so we can't see our numbers. In that case, we'll likely have to draw our background over and over again. We'll have a white background, and now we'll see the value 0. Now we see the value 3. It's very sensitive. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if I click and hold, it keeps increasing. And the counter just keeps going up. If you wanted to double it, you have to do some more fancy math things. Uh, you also have to likely do some comparisons, because you have to like clear the screen if you start with 2, draw the screen again, and then draw 4. The variable lines, of the, the lines that involve variables will be a bit more complicated than what's currently in front of you. I hope this uh, screencast is helpful. Uh, the rest of the time is for you to work on your programs. I'll upload this soon along with these two starter codes.